The U.S.-led coalition is keeping up air attacks on ISIS targets in Iraq and Syria. Yet the Islamic terror group still controls important territory and cities, including Palmyra in Syria, as well as Mosul and Ramadi in Iraq. Joining us now is former CIA Director General David Petraeus, who's also commanded U.S. forces in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as the surge in Iraq. How bad is the situation on the ground in Iraq and Syria today? Because the impression is that ISIS is gaining ground and cities. Well, it's worrisome. Uh, as we say, the enemy gets a vote. Uh, that's what's happened in Ramadi. Uh, so this is both a, an operational and a strategic setback, a significant one. But this is a moment at which I think you sit back and say, what do we need to do in the military arena? What also do we need to do in the political arena? Is it a threat to the United States? Well, ISIS clearly is a threat to the United States, to our allies and partners around the world, and of course, very much in the region. Uh, where it's fomenting instability, violence, and so forth, and indeed far beyond just Iraq and Syria. It's also into North Africa. It's even trying to recruit in Afghanistan and Pakistan. When you look at what's necessary to do, we need a new strategy. Does it mean more American participation at any level? I think it does, and I don't know that you need a whole new strategy. What you need to do is look at what you have, figure out where you need to augment. Do we need to bring advisors uh, down to brigade level, for example? Right now, they're just at division level, perhaps even to battalion level. Should there be teams of joint tactical air controllers on the ground with a lot of security? Should so there be? I think there probably should be. Is and there a risk to losing lives if they do that? There is. there is risk, but there's also risk of not winning this fight. If push comes to shove, uh, should we let Iraqi militia with connections to Iran participate in order to defeat ISIS? Well, I, th I think that's something we don't want to do. In but fact, we might have to do it. Uh, that would be a very last resort. What we need to do is focus not just on the military. It's not, you can't kill or capture your way out of an industrial strength insurgency like this, Charlie. Really, an industrial strength conventional force, because that's what ISIL has actually come to be. You need to have the political component. And without that, Without that, you're not going the to solve the political component is support in Baghdad that will enlist the support of Sunni Arab tribes in Iraq. That's exactly right. Are we winning or losing at this moment? Well, you know, these are fights where if you're not winning, uh, you're probably losing because time is not on your and side. And we are not winning. Well, it's arguable now in Iraq. We'll, we'll turn it around. We will win again in Iraq. I do think that Iraq can definitely be handled. I think that it can be kept intact. Uh, we've got to do a lot more in Syria. And ah. this, is, this is already a long war. It's become longer because of the advent of the Islamic State. And we have to recognize that, and we have to, have to be in it. General Petraeus, thank you for joining us. Well, it's great to be with you, Charlie. You can see the full interview with General Petraeus on our 24-hour digital news network, CBSN, available on all devices at cbsnews.com. And I'll have more on it tomorrow on CBS This Morning.